All right, we are Rainbow Aludon. Look at us go. We actually have the rainbow. I don't know, landing strip, chest, whatever that's called. Anyway, I crit myself turn one, you know, Kevin luck. Good afternoon, Poké Sports. Welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Regulation F video bringing you and our Chalodon team. Now, our Chalodon was revealed to us many, many moons ago. And since it was revealed, we've asked ourselves the question, isn't the Raladon just better? And... We still don't know the answer to that question. At least I don't still think I know the answer to that question. It's not as cut and dry as everyone made it out to seem. Because our Chalodon does offer different things that, you know, we can't get out of a Duraludon. So I tried to find a team and I tried to make a team that can really showcase every single thing that our Chalodon can do a little bit better than Duraludon. So we have here an Assault Vested Stamina or Chalodon. The reason is... Because a lot of Pokemon, when, they, when they're when they running body press stuff, they have to take a turn or two to set up their iron defenses. Our Chalodon doesn't even have to do that. Our Chalodon just has to exist and its defenses will raise. Not just that, it opens up the Assault Vest, which iron defense users aren't able to run because Assault Vest, you can only run attacking moves, right? So, here we have an Archalodon with the friend guard mouse hold next to it to beat it up, set it up to plus four, and then have us body press until the end of time. Not just that though, we can run a special set with just body press next to the special attacking moves because, you know, body press takes your defense into account, doesn't even look at your attack. So, that's the whole thought process behind that. Other thing that Archalodon can do that Duraludon can't do is Electro Shot. Electro Shot is essentially a Meteor Beam plus Solar Beam into an Electric Base 130 damage move that also gives you a plus one for absolutely no reason. Takes two turns, but only takes one turn in the rain. So here we have the rain team in the back. We have the Basket Legion, we have the Pelper, we have the Amoongus, just to really help. You could take a, take a look at this team and note how many redirection and supportive mons I have. I essentially have three support mons with the Pelper, with the Mouse Hold, and with the Amoongus. This is all just the the Archalodon show, it really is. And of course, the Basque Legion, great Swift Swim user, great uh, rain abuser. I'm excited to try that out. Every single time I run Basque Legion on this channel, I feel like I always get impressed by it. So I'm glad that I actually just decided to put it on a team, call it a day, see if Archalodon could do anything with it. And also, if we don't have a situation for our Chalodon, we have the other one that loves beat up, the Annihilate. But Annihilate's really good into instant, by the way because you get the Defiant, plus there's not much Instant can do to a Fire Terra Annihilate. Now, other thing that I kind of glazed over and didn't really mention is that I'm running Stellar uh, Terra type here on our Chalodon. I don't know if it's optimal. I, this, is, this is pretty much just me wanting to try it out. The reason behind it is because I think our Chalodon has such a great typing already, I don't really want to change it that often. And the other option was Electric Terra, which would still keep me weak to ground anyway, so I might as well just get Stab on everything for one turn. Right? Why not? Let's try it out. See if uh, our Chalodon's a great stellar, stellar Terra user. Anyway, if you guys are excited to see what the heck's about to happen here on Pokesports, hit the like button down below, subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. On our road to 30,000 subscribers. And tell your friends about Pokesports. Hey, spread the news that you watch this, you know, nearly middle-aged man play a children's video game online. And for some reason, you have a great time doing it. Don't be ashamed. Anyway, with that said, let's get on to today's video. John with the walking wake. Okay. Walking wake versus our child. Now, let's see what happens here. This is actually a very interesting matchup. Also, they have an Electivire. Not the greatest thing for rain. Also, not the greatest thing for electro shot. But hey. We might be able to do something about it. Who knows? I think against them, I do want to set up body presses. Because they are physical, physical, physical. Three potential physical attackers, four potential physical attackers. That could even be a body press, uh, iron defense combo there too. Yeah, I think I'm going to go uh, Archalodon. I'm going to go Mouse House. I'm inclined to leave Rain behind. Maybe I just don't click Electro Shot this game, which isn't that serious. Yeah, let's do a late game Amoongus and a late game Annihilate here. I think that's a lot more beneficial to us because what does Rain realistically do into that team? Nothing really. There's nothing on that team, team weak to water. 
The only Pokemon I can maybe do something with uh, Pelipper is the the Miascarada, but even then, Pelipper does not appreciate a flower trick. Nami and Grumble coming out, okay. Not too bad. Nothing we can't handle here, I don't think. I think everything here is pretty, pretty manageable. Tell you what, I'm gonna start off with just a straight body press into the Miascarada. Straight beat up into my Archalodon. I don't think there's anything Miascarada can do to one-shot Archalodon, especially not with my defenses. And I double resist the flower trick. And I outspeed this Miascarada, so I guess that also works. Listen, we take those. We definitely take those. They must not be max speed. Plus three. Give me the plus four. It's so nice getting the plus four this early on, man. And then you just become an Archaludon. You just become plus four to start the... Oh. They have a Glamora that does that for free. I don't know if you knew that, but... Boing! Bye-bye. There that goes. What an experience. Foul play. Good thing I raised my defenses. Now I'm plus five. <laughs> okay. I like our Chaludon. <laughs> our Chaludon's fun. It's a fun time here. I'm having a good time. Donkey. Who's the donkey? You look nothing like a donkey. Okay, well that one can hit me with dragon moves. It could also body press me in return, but I somehow don't think that matters. I am... I'm gonna fire off a flash cannon into the side mon real quick. Yeah, I, might, I might as well get some hacks going. Oh, they have the same thought that I have. <laughs> they also might as well get some hacks going. But I think they did the wrong one though. Bulldoze! Questionable. Thank you. Here's a flash cannon now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Our child on just grabbing the broom and going. Granted, again, this isn't the world's most competitive team. Again, we're in casual ladder. It's the only way I can use the new fun stuff. All right, Electivire is coming back out. I say back out like it's been here before. Electivire is coming out. And I think since I'm plus six, let's just show Electivire what a plus six feels like. Also, let's go for a follow me, because why not? I might as well keep my big tanky or child on at plus six as healthy as possible, or as tanky as possible. It's pretty much just better Mudsdale. It's Mudsdale with body press. But a dragon type. A special attacking dragon type. Alright, they're gonna go for the Terra. The Terra on the Como with the Steel! Okay, my body press really likes that, huh? <laughs> I don't mind that Terra. Okay, Mouse holds parried. It's okay, no big deal. Brick break into the Mouse hold. Listen, that did damage. Here's a body press though, I think mine does more. Bye bye. <laughs> There's something just so pleasing about seeing a health bar go down. Brother has drain punch too. Physical Como. So bulldoze, drain punch. What else did it do? What else do you have? Well, you got rid of one redirection, so I could put another one on the field. Now I have an Amongus. Amongus is Amongus. Oh yeah, nice spikes. They're gone now. <laughs> Yeah, now it's just a straight body press plus Rage Powder. Uh, I don't even think I have, a, I have to Rage Powder. I'm going to Palm Plus myself, because why not? Body press and bye bye We get to plus four so fast. And because we get to plus four so fast, the other two Pokemon attacking us on the other side of the field inevitably get us to plus six. It's only the first game. But I like our Chalu done. On to the next. Oh, okay. 
Brother brought out the big guns right away. Has the Incin ready. Has the Raging Bolt ready. This is a legit, this is gonna be a legitimate battle. I'm very happy that I'm playing in rain because it means I might not have to bring my own Pelipper. So that's always nice. I think initially looking at their team, seeing the double intimidate, I have to lead Annihilate this game. But the Archaladon's coming to the battle. It's just not gonna come right away. Now, as for my final Mon, it's either Basque Legion or Amoongus. They're both very good for very different reasons. I'm gonna go late game bass. Yeah, late game Basque Legion. They do have a crest though. I'm seeing that crest. They can turn the rooms around on me. And I think if they turn the rooms the rooms around, I might be put in a situation to where I am just too fast for their team, and I would then be too slow for my own good. Let's go ahead and hope that's not the case. As I pop another halls in my mouth. Because I always get sick during DLCs for some reason. I think if you go back and like look at the uh, teal mask, I was sick for that too. But it's okay. We live and we thrive in. Two seconds left on the clock, one second left. Gonna lock in, last minute lock in, but they got it through. All right, let's see. This is like a very competitive battle. Like last game was a little meh, you know? It was a nice little warm up. But this, this looks like it's gonna be some serious juice right now. Get ready, folks. I'm also excited to see what Mr. Thunderclap is going to do against us. They led with Intimidate. Nice. That is amazing for us. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Free to find for absolutely no reason. Um. I would love to Rage Fist right about now. Well, they got a lot of things on the on their side of the field that are a little scary. I think I'm just going to go for the Drain Punch. And maybe just settle for a follow me. I think that's alright. It looks like they're going to Terrastalize right away. That's a little aggressive. Going to be the Landorus too. Okay, they're gonna go Flying Terror Landorus. It's a good thing that we click Follow Me, though. I was considering a Fire Terror, but at the same time, if I Fire Terror, then I I might just die to an Ivy Cudgel, so... There's no good news there. Alright. Big Terror Blast. This will hurt. Don't get me wrong. My Mouse House will hold on, though. That's great. Drain Punch in to actually outspeed their Ogre Pond. That's good info. Very good info. I think they're going to spiky shield that ogre now. So yeah, I'm going to go for the, the beat up. I gotta, I gotta use my big brain here. My little brain ain't cutting it. I think this is my best option, predicting the spiky shield coming from their side. Because they know that I can outspeed them. They've seen my speed tier. So they, they're gonna be better prepared for it. Yep. Using our big old brain, baby. So now, Terra Blast into my Annihilate. I should eat it now because I am a fire type and not a ghost type. Om nom 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 nom. Nice breakfast. Give me that beat up. I'm stacked up, baby. Fear my ape. Fear the ape. Max speed jolly. Not a single thought in my brain. Big ol' rage fist. Good luck. Bye-bye. Awesome. Great KO for us. That's their terror gone. And I already know that I outspeed that ogre pond and I have nothing to worry about in that slot. Not to mention my mouse house. Sit nice and pretty with the follow me in its hand. Ooh. Again, the, the new music goes so hard in this DLC. How are you guys liking the DLC so far? Let me know. 
I honestly think it's an absolute blast. Okay, Booster Energy Protosynthesis is going to get a special attack raise. It can Thunderclap me. It can... What else does it do? Uh, I got a list of things that things do. Thunderclap, Draco Meteor, and Thunderbolt, pretty much. That's like the, the three things it can do. Call me crazy, I think I'm a little bit more afraid of the Ogre Pond at plus two. So I'm just going to follow me the Mouse House. And I'll worry about Mr. Thunderclap later. Again, we already also know that we outspeed, so... There's just more reasons behind attacking that slot right now. Alright, Mouse House. Do your duty! Follow me! Drain Punch! We also learned we outspeed the big thing, which makes sense because it's like base 70-something speed. Raging Bolt with the Raging Mustache. Alright, bye-bye, Ogre Pond. Thanks for stopping by. Annihilate is looking real good in the meta. Okay, big, just raw thunder. It was a rain team, though, so fair enough, yeah. All right, with our Drain Punch recovery and our Lefties recovery, we are back to being very healthy. I say we bring in our Chalodon, we call it a day, call it a game, get the show on the road. Look at our Chalodon, it's just... Look at me. Ooh, wait, hold up. They got Trick Room, though. <laughs> well, I got a, a fistful of rage for you. And I guess a Draco Meteor is my best option. I should be outspeeding the Raging Bolt, so I think that, that that's just always going to be the case. I have to attack. Oh, they got Thunderclap. That hurt. Whoa. Mine hurts more, though. This hurts much more. Bop. Bye-bye. But that Thunderclap, that, that was some damage. I have a lot of HP investment too, that's crazy. And you know, Kevin Luck being Kevin Luck. Oh, I thought I missed that, never mind. Take it back. Sorry, Kevin Luck. GG's taking another dub. And a very competitive team with, with that to boot, right? That, like, that was not your standard run in the mill. Hey, I just finished the Indigo disc. Time to play with the Pokemon I caught there. It was a legitimate team. Look, they even took a picture with Sad Kieran. Anyway, on to the next. Okay. Our Chalodon going again, what seems to be not the worst team ever, just not a very meta-heavy team, right? I mean, it could even be an in-game team. There is a starter there. I guess, I don't know, guys, we're going to find out. But I don't see any restricteds. So that's pretty good for me. Anyway, how is our Chalodon going to do against this time to find out? We're going to go our Chalodon right in the lead, followed by Mousehold. We're going to start our beat-up strat right away. Bring the Pelper in the back because we're going to need the weather. So that we can do electro shots as much as possible. And I guess if we're running rain, might as well run Basket Legion in the back too. Our team's a little bit afraid of that Meowth Grotto. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be truthful. It's a little afraid. But I'm hoping that we have enough juice behind our, our Chalodon to not care too much, right? I think I have high hopes for our Chalodon. I think out of all the Pokemon that we've. Uh, Gone with so far. Our Chalodon seems like a seems like a pretty decent mon. Is it better than Draudon? Only time will tell. Regardless, let's see how it does here against our friend. I forgot their name. Plague. <clears throat> Gonna leave with Garchomp plus Sarah Ledge. Honestly, two very scary Pokemon. I think we're fine though. We definitely don't outspeed the Garchomp. But we do have friend guard active at the end of the day. So I, I think we will be able to live whatever incoming hit the Garchomp will throw in our direction. And since we do already see the Sarah Ledge on the field. I think we go for the the Stellar Terra. The first Stellar Terra here on Pokesports. I'm excited. Are you excited? Let's do it. Let's beat up. Let's Stellar Terra. Let's get the body presses going. <clears throat> All right, we are Rainbow Aludon. Look at us go. We actually have the rainbow, I don't know, landing strip, chest, whatever that's called. Anyway, I crit myself turn one, you know, Kevin Luck. Starting the battle off strong. Gonna get our stamina up to plus four right away. This is why I love this so much, right? 
I could still hold an assault vest and I can get the plus four anyway. It's body pressing time. And now with this nice rainbow hat on my head, we get stab on this nonsense too. Earth power, that's not great, but friend guard plus assault vest helps a lot. Why do you have earth power, Garchomp? Well, you know what? This will hurt extra now. <laughs> Big damage onto the chop, still not enough to knock it out, and the Sarah is gonna go for a sword stance in my face, okay. Fascinating. I don't know if I care. I mean, I care a little bit about the Sarah Ledge, I'm not gonna lie. I do wish that Garchomp went down though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go for the Draco Meteor. That's a lie. I'm gonna get rid of the Garchomp if I can. I'm gonna fire off a Flash Cannon and go for the Follow Me. I'm hoping this Mouse Hold can take every hit in this game. Believe in the Mouse House. Brother has Dragon Breath too. Yo, Casual Ladder hits different and gets a Para with it. Okay. Special Chomp coming in hot. <laughs> Well, there's a flash cannon now. Special Chomp is gone. Why am I focusing so much on a special Garn Chomp when there's a plus two Sarah Ledge in front of me? Beats me. Bitter Blade now? That's gonna hurt. That's gonna death. Okay. This Sarah Ledge might be able to win them the game. Okay. Into the Pelipper we go now. Because now we can go for Electro Shots. We have, we're gonna have that option soon. Question is, do we Tailwind? Mmm, they have a Hariyama. That's a little problematic for us. Alright, I still got my boosted attack with the Electro Shot. I think I'm gonna go for it. Electro Shot into the Sarah Ledge. And just in case... They fake out my Archalada, I'm gonna go for the Weather Ball into the Sarah Ledge as well. Okay, Sarah Ledge is just gonna let me kill it. Never mind. That works for me too. And also, Hariyama didn't fake out. What's going on? <laughs> now, let's get to see Electro Shot in action. Get the nice little plus one there. Oh, we are a big, scary bridge. We love this. Plus one, and thanks to the rain, we double hit it this turn right now. Harry, I'm a good luck, buddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> it lived. It has Rock Tomb. My speed is down. Bruh. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and say I was an assault vested friend over there. Okay, you are not the person I wanted to see today. Okay, I will go for the Draco and hopefully knock you out. And just in case I get to live this turn, I'm going to attempt a Tailwind. Attempt. All right, here's the Terrastalization. Something's gonna hurt. Is it the Meowskarada? It, it is. Grass Terra, Meowskarada, Grass Terra starter is here to play. There's the flower trick. Onto my bird? Yeah, onto my bird. Okay, unfortunately, I won't be able to get the Tailwind up. It is what it is. Thankfully, Meowskarada shouldn't have any priority against me unless they're going for Sucker Punches or if they have a Sucker Punch in the back. Never mind. I'm going to get the plus one stab Draco on the field. Pop. Bye-bye. <laughs> See, that calc I know. <laughs> I know that one. Now, that had to be a Salt Vested Harry. Harry doesn't have that much special defense. And that technically was a stab Electro Shot. All right, CC, unfortunately, into my art. Damn! Whoa! Oh, that's right, I'm like plus a billion defense. I've... Why did I forget? I went for body press once and then I forgot about every other thing that happened this turn. I was like, oh, I took that very well. What happened there? I'm, uh, I'm like plus, well now I'm plus six. It was plus five before. 
Well, I guess I'm back to body pressing. And finally, wave crash. GG's. That'll be game. Taking a dub with our Chowdon. Not too shabby. Taking another dub. Hey, listen. I'll take that. Yes, was my opponent's team questionable a little bit. But hey, that doesn't take away from how much damage that our child one was able to do. Remember, if you guys want this rental code, save it in your Switch now so that when Regulation F does come out, you can play this team. Anyway, on to the next. Okay, another Incineroar, kind of like game two. Except this time around, they're running Hydrapple. Okay. We're, we are, we're gonna be running Hydrapple soon too, guys. Don't you worry. But it's interesting to see it. I'm like, not a Trick Room team-ish, really? It's kind of an interesting team. It's got a bunch of good stuff on it, but nothing that really, really scares me. I don't think, at least. I see a lot of things that are weak to fighting, though. So that, that, that's always good news. Tell you what, I could leave with Annihilate, but I think Annihilate got enough of a showcase in game two. I want to see how our Chalodon deals with Ensign. Not to mention our Chalodon in general is pretty decent into Hydrapple. Now I want Pelipper here. But I don't want Basque Legion. I think I want Amongus. I am not bringing a lot of damage this game. I'm putting... Okay, I'm literally putting all of the stock I have. All the money I have in my, my empty pockets. All the money. So I couldn't pick that I have my empty pockets. I'm putting it on our Chalodon right now. I think our Chalodon can make some plays. I think our Chalodon can single-handedly carry us this game. I might need to go for Stellar Terror again. But I don't mind. Because it worked well for us last time. Okay, they're going to lead Hydrapple and Palafin. I'm assuming Palafin's just going to leave. So I'm going to ignore that spot. Super Sweet Surf is okay. Don't think that does much for them, really. I know that I'm faster. Okay, who do they switch into with the Palafin, though? Doesn't matter, I'll just go for Hydrapple. Or I just give myself a plus one. That's nah, okay. Let's just go for the simple move. Simple plays. Stellaterra body press. And we beat up. Let's go. Did they not swap the Palfin? They might be flip turning then. Because why would you keep baby Palfin on the field? Oh, I get. Okay, that's fine too, I guess. I went for the other one. It's time to get thick. Look at me, I'm a sturdy little bridge. I love this guy. I love our child. I don't know why. A lot of people are hating on its design. I think it looks cool. It's just like. <laughs> I'm a big fan. All right, stamina plus four. We are terrifying now. Big body press onto Hydrapple. How your defenses, buddy? They good? Oh, they're pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got time for a snack too? Dang. All right, let's see what Hydrapple does here. I hate you. <laughs> I gotta switch after setting up? Uh, they're definitely gonna protect that side, so I'm gonna just go for the side slot here. They'd have to be absolutely wild to hearts off a Fluttermane here. I'm not switching out. I'm not losing my dang stats. I refuse to lose my stats. Don't switch into Flutter, please. I'm in trouble. <laughs> That's not good. That is not good. I could have flash cannoned here, by the way. Well, at least I know I am plus six. Against two special attack, I might have to switch. It's not looking great for us. And it looks like they also didn't protect. Why not? They might not have it or they want to double yawn me. Oh, they're going for pickle beams. 
We took it well. I have to do my mandatory sleep turn. Might as well keep body pressing. I'm gonna follow me. Just in case they for some reason go for a moon blast or a shadow ball. They won't, but they could. Alright, Flutter's gonna fairy tear. They're going in and they're going all the way. I'm scared. I'm very scared. Friend guard plus assault vest though. Like we have we have defenses. Yeah, they're just going for a Deeglin. Alright. Oh, we ate that though. We ate that so well. That was almost laughable damage. They're going for crits. I hate that they're using this Hydrapple very well. <sighs> I'm gonna T-Wave Flutter. All right, another Gleam. Please don't crit, please don't crit, please don't crit. Oh, the, looks like it didn't. I got the T-Wave on Flutter, that's great news. I could wake. Yes, our Chaludon! Well, that means the T-Wave on Flutter doesn't matter then. But hey, oh well, I get the free hit on the Flutter. I'll take that. I will definitely take that. At least we knocked the Flutter out, right? At the very least. All right, another Fickle Beam. We hang on, baby. I have to redirect every hit now into my poor little mouse. All right. I think I go for the body press here. They haven't protected all game. Yeah, I body press here. Oh, perfect. Nice. I don't think their Hydrapple has protect. They have Yawn, Dragon Cheer, Pickle Beam. They need a grass move in there somewhere. Yeah, I think they don't have protect at all. Big body press now. On to Hydrapple, gonna knock it out. This is huge because again, I have an Among Us in the back for more redirection. If I can just keep my our child on alive, we are golden, we are set. I don't know if I am going to be capable to, of doing that, though. Because I'm pretty sure this Dragon Eye outspeeds me, right? Alright, I gotta give up my defenses. I'm gonna protect. I don't want to throw this game. I need to preserve the only Pokemon on my team that does damage. Let's go for the Protect on Mousehold so we take the E-Speed. Okay, the E-Speed, the Amongus, that's fine. I have Rocky Helmet. If they had multi scale I just broke it. And then Jet Punch, also onto the Amongus. Alright, really good turn then. Okay, now I gotta start putting things to sleep. That's just the way this game be. Yeah, let's follow me. Why not? All right, you speed into my mouse hold this time. We'll knock out my mouse hold. We're staying alive, though. They didn't protect their... Oh. Well, good luck with that. That's not going to do it either. <laughs> Lowering your defenses is crazy. But fine. Be my guest. I think that they don't have anything for my Among Us with that Palafin. So I think I just keep going for a Rage Powder here. Because now I get the opportunity to go back into my Archalodon. I'm 
Nice little Draco's looking really, really fine over here. Oh, what if I wanted to call? No, I'm not going to do that. Like, I, I could call a Protect. And go for, like, a Palm Puff onto my Archalodon, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to Rage Powder. I'm not going to overthink this turn. There's no need. Then hopefully hit a 90% accurate move. Let's find out. All right, they tried to E-Speed. Didn't work. That's their mandatory turn right there. Here's my Rage Powder. They didn't protect with their Palanfin, which is exactly why I didn't go for that Pollen Puff. They're going to keep going for this CC. Fine by me. They're doing so much damage to themselves here. Draco Meteor does connect. Our Chaludon making this his video, man. Got a nice little KO there. Tell you what, I'm going to lock in this victory. I got a negative two special attack drop. And again, I put a lot of stock in this Archalodon. I'm going to go for the Spore here. And then hard swap into my Pelipper. Get this rain up. Battle was canceled. Won't even get that far. Woo! That's a fun time of VGC today, folks. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. We're getting really close to 30,000 subscribers. We're about 5,000 away. So if you want to send us some support, be my guest. I will never argue with that. Anyway, if you enjoyed our child on, let me know what you thought about it down below in the comment section. Do you think it has a place in Regulation F? And will you, will you be using this team once the official ladder does drop? Remember, if you do enjoy this team, grab the rental code while it's out. You could have this rental code waiting on your switch for when regulation f does come out that way if in the future i have to replace with another team it's still safe and sound on your switch so that you can keep using it anyway okay this week's sports have yourselves a fantastic evening i'll see you in the next one peace out and bye bye